Hey, welcome to this video from Dr. Locke. So today we've come to a job where we have a Lanes 1000. Uh, customer tried fitting it, but with these locks they are very fiddly. The handles had to be adjusted, so when we put the key in, it should go in there nice and, and squarely, like you shouldn't have any resistance, that was part of the problem. And then the bolt projects. Um, and on the same on the other side the same thing has to slide in there even if it's slightly on an angle It really is very difficult to use the bolt now. We do have enough gap between the door here between the door and the frame So there's been an aluminium packer put on there and we can see that the bolt is projecting Into the lock with absolutely no resistance So the last thing that you want with the mortise lock is where you actually turn the bolt so if I turn it that way, the bolt's going that way. If I turn it this way, the bolt's going this way. And what we don't want is any pressure whatsoever on the bolt when it actually projects into the door. And if we do, that's going to give us problems. And we'll just check top and bottom. And there is enough gap top and bottom on the actual strike. We can just see that in there. And I can feel there's absolutely no pressure whatsoever on that bolt. And that is it. Job done. So with these old weatherboard homes, they do move a little bit. And if they do, I might just elongate this just a little bit more. And we'll give this just a bit more room and cut that just in case the weather. And what we do is we use a bit like this. Blow it out a bit. So a little bit top and bottom. That's probably enough. <clears throat> so the point is like there is enough clearance top and bottom of the bolt. Like there's no problems there. We can't really see it from that angle, but I I can see it. And that should be it. Well, that is it, sorry. That well, should be it, that is it. Alright, thanks for watching.